of the best faction of 2023. And here are your nominees. We have the bloodline. <laughs> Gotta throw up the ones for the bloodline. The bloodline. We have damage control, which took a turn like halfway through the year for the better. Then we have the judgment day with mommy and Dominic Mysterio. Uh, I feel like I should have included the R-Truth in this. I was going to say, I, I know. Against, there is no R-Truth. <laughs> I want a mistrial. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I forgot their name. I think it's House of Blacks. We have the House of Black. Did I say that right? That's I did. It. Okay. <laughs> With Julia Hart and Malachi Black. And the chat jumping in already. Oh, look at this one. They, at least... <laughs> they have to be on TV. <laughs> That's true. They have to be on TV. The elite has to be on TV. I think that kind of rhymes. And the winner is. The Judgment Day. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I feel like this could have went a lot of different ways. Um, you could have had the bloodline. You really could have had damage control as well. Um, but yeah, I think I think the Judgment Day is the right call here. Nice. Nick? I, I think so. I think somebody said it in the chat and I can't see the comment now. Uh, but uh, talking about how already right there you've got nothing but championship gold around that entire faction right there 100 mm -hmm. we're making jokes of they've got to include our truth that they can our truth is their Sami Zayn. it's there where the bloodline was a year or so ago right now they are the most talked thing on monday night raw outside of cm punk which Dom Dom just took on CM Punk. He's become the new X Pac of your, you know, the litmus <laughs> test for can you still go in 2023? <laughs> right. And I see some people throwing in their two cents about the bloodline. The downfall of the bloodline, I think, in this category this year. And again, for those who don't know, and we haven't said it much, a lot of this was a fan vote this year. So um, the bloodline kind of played its story out going into Mania. It trickled out past Mania a little bit. But by the time we got to the end of the year, you know, we had kind of split up and they haven't really been that relevant since the, the big breakup, since that Jay moment. And then Jay quit and went to Raw. So, you know, for doing it, we thought these guys were dead. They were the House of Purple. We thought they were done. And man, with the addition of Mommy and Dom kind of figuring it out, they've been nothing but fire, main events, pay-per-views, belts, and belts. Still senior money in the bank. How do you argue with it? They, they were to the point that they were featured that much on Raw that we were, quote-unquote, getting bored of it because they were constantly there. The story of the Bloodline <laughs> this year was more of the breakup, the fallout of the Bloodline than anything. And by the way, like KJ said, y'all voted on this. Don't be mad at us. Y'all picked this. <laughs> exactly. Be mad at yourselves. Y'all picked this. <laughs> I feel like in some shape or form, the Bloodline for a good portion of – not the Bloodline, the Judgment Day for a good portion of 2020 – Three was in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Some variation of them. If it was Dom, if it was Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Rhea Ripley, some form of them were in the main event of Monday Night Raw for a good number of months. 100%. 100%. Judgment Day is the right pick. There you go. Boston approves. Uh, I yeah, I got nothing. I was going to say, you've got Senor Money in the Bank, you know, Grimace there right next to Farquaad. Uh, you've got um, the undisputed tag team champions. You've got Mommy, who is the most dominant superstar, I think, on Monday Night Raw next to Seth Rollins with being women's champion. Then you've got Dom Dom with the NXT North American Championship. Like, that's why I've laughed a little bit in my head, Anthony, when you're mistaken calling them the bloodline, because to me, they're interchangeable. This is where the bloodline was a year or so ago. Of oh well, they're featured too much. They're too good. They're doing too much, and now they've got their Sami Zayn with our truth. In it. Were you about to send me off there? Fine, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The man wants to rumble. 